Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the very important topic in unit 4 which is first order reasoning and context. In my previous video, I explained about the syntax and semantic of context. Now, let's understand what is the first order reasoning. Okay, let's start. So, this first order logic. So, we can even say first order logic. In short, we can say FOL is a formal language itself. So, this FOL is a some formal language used for expressing the statements mainly this uh, language is used to express some statements so we'll be having some statements so to express the particular statements we'll be using this first order logic now let's understand what is it about objects it may be about the objects or the relationships and the properties it can be any type of a statements like it can be some objects and it can be some relation between the two objects or the properties of the particular thing so it can be any type of an uh, statement to express that statement will be using this uh, fol which is a first order logic so to express a statement okay okay first order reasoning in context involves applying fol to reason about the knowledge within the specific context or a domain means what they are saying so basically we'll be expressing some statements like object relationship and the properties and here they're saying like will be applying this fol logic means this is first order logic so we'll be applying this first order logic to represent the knowledge to represent the knowledge and to see the reason what is the main problem in that particular knowledge so to you see the thing we'll be using this first order logic they're saying here only see the first order reasoning in the context means the first order logic will be applying this first order logic why will be applying this first order logic to reason about the knowledge means what what is the reason means what it's like a problem what is a some problem in the information yes or no? so the reason about the knowledge means what is a problem what is the problem in the particular knowledge to know about that will be applying the first order logic so why will be applying the first order logic to see the what the problem is there in the particular information within the specific context means what within the specific domain particular domain what the problem is there in the particular knowledge within the particular specified domain or the context so that will be applying the fol to say more clearly will be basically applying this first order logic to see what are the errors or we can see what is the problem is there in the particular information within the domain okay now it, i think you understood now let's see how it will be working so first you have to understand about the syntax and the semantics syntax semantics and one more thing is reasoning so these three things are very important to understand more about this first order logic so you know before only what is the syntax semantic and the reasoning so let's understand what it is so syntax is nothing but some rule okay in first order logic statements are expressed okay we have uh, learned before only so in this first order logic we'll be expressing the statements itself yeah using what how we'll be expressing in before only we understood the statements are expressed so how it is expressed what statements are expressed like objects relationships and the properties are expressed will we have learned before only but by using what by using what the statements are expressed by using what things we can express the statements so now let's see by using quantifiers you know what is the quantifiers next variables variables means like it's like a to store a particular value to store a particular value it may be the integer or it may be any type of a data to store a particular data in a one area is known as a variables and quantifiers predicates to predicate something it can be true or false but predication predicting the thing next functions what is the main function and logical connectivities you know what are, what are the logical connectivities so these are the things by using these things we'll be expressing the statements i think you, you got more clarity about this thing so by using these quantifiers variables predicates functions and logical connectivities by using these things we'll be expressing the statements okay now let's see 
the syntax of first order reasoning in the context involves representing the knowledge so we'll be representing the knowledge and if any problem is there by applying the kol we can solve that thing problem okay within the context using the fol syntax by using the syntax any problem is there in the knowledge will be so we can solve that problem but plus problem which is there so what is fol it's like a expressing the statements so how we can express the statements by using this thing okay i think you got clarity now what is the semantic so semantic is nothing but the meaning so the semantic of first order reasoning involves interpreting the statements within the context of specific domain or the context which i said before and each context define interpretation of predicates functions and context allowing for reasoning about the info, information or we can say knowledge within that context means what is the exact information which is there in the context that can be defined by using this predicates functions context okay yes next what is the reasoning so reasoning is nothing but the first order reasoning in context enables deduction induction objection so this three things i already explained many times in the first unit if you don't know about this induction deduction abduction please watch my previous video so that you can have more clarity about this three things within the specific context so what is a induction deduction abduction in the some specific context reasoning tasks include inference consistency checking means the what is the consistency say first so what is the consistency which is correct or not to check which is correct or not consistency check means to check the context is correctly is there like to see the information is correct or not simply to say to see that particular information is correct or not or appropriate to the particular within the domain it is appropriate to the within the domain to check it is appropriate or not we'll be using this thing as on us consistency check means so basically this consistency check is used to reduce the errors at the end so in the before only in the middle of the information we have to check the consistency because at the at the end if you want to check this we'll get many errors so to rectify the errors we have to check the consistency of the particular context in between only so to reduce the errors to see that information is correct or not consistent or not okay next theorem proving okay we have to prove the main theorem what is there and which are performed based on some logical rules as on meanings defined within the context what is the main logical rules okay i think this is about the reasoning this three things you have listened in my previous videos again and again so i'm just explaining briefly okay don't worry just i am explaining briefly because i already repeated about the syntax semantic and reasoning many times in my previous video in the unit 1 2 and 3 okay you can add on that points only yeah now we have some example with this example you can understand about this first order logic more and uh, consider a knowledge based representation information about the family relationship so they are taking some family relationship example within the context of the specific family so they are taking the information which is there in the some specific family first order reasoning can be used to identify like parent child so what is the context between the parent and the child and the siblings or the grandparents grandchildren so this are all are some belongs to one family so the parents and the their children and grandparents and grandchildren so this all thing will be comes this all members will be comes under the one family as on or based on some logical rules and the facts about the family members so each and every character will be having their own criteria means like parent will be acting as a parent child will be acting as a like children siblings means like a brother or a sister grandparents means like grandmother grandfather so each and every member will belongs to some different category some different context will be having a some different role of each member yes or no so for everything will be expressing in the different way so consider like parent is one statement or children is one statement sibling is one statement grandparents are one statement will be expressing each statements differently so will be will be expressing the parents in different form will be expressing the children in a different form will be 
having some difference between the each statement as soon as this is a one uh, good example for the first order reasoning or first order logic so that's it about this first order logic not much which you know before only just add on that points no need to worry more yeah yeah what is the first order reasoning so you have to write some uh, basic information about the first order logic what it is there and what is the main thing which is to express the statements what are the statements objects relationship and the properties simple next so you have to give some points about the syntax semantics and the reasoning syntax is the rules which will be using to express the statements so next reasoning means what are the rules which we have to follow okay the meaning of the main meaning of the context reasoning means what the task which we have to do like problem if we occurred any problem in the context what are the things we have to do to resolve the problem like consistency checking theorem pro proving so these are the things which we have to use to solve the particular problem this is about the reasoning and with the small example you can uh, end on this uh, first order reasoning in the context i think it is very simple yes or no and that's it for this video thanks for watching let's meet in next video